What is going on, everybody? One Piece 24, episode 24, 23, 24, 23, 24. Uh, I was actually shocked that, like, Hawks just, or Hawkeye just show. I, I forgot the name, just showed up like that. Makes me kind of think, like, are there protectors of the Grand Line? Or if you're not worthy enough to make it past us, you can't get through, like, the Elite Four or some shit? But then, like, why would they be loyal to protect something? I, I don't know. They feel like maybe if they can't go far enough, they're not going to let people in. But then why? Like, they've been getting followed by him. Um, So it's a, it's an interesting element. Like, are there protectors of the Grand Line? But then it's like, what are you loyal to? Like, why would you protect it? Um, What are you protecting? And then... To, I could understand you turning people away, like, hey, if they get this close, damage them enough. But like, they're they're fault, like they're double tapping the head, like we're following for the kill. Um, and then why Zoro is seeking that? Clearly, is it for the swordsmanship skills? We saw him just slice this ship and didn't even like actually like make contact. I, I don't know. Let's figure it out. Drag this over here, and I skipped past the opening. Or the title screen, because I've been told to start skipping it, so I didn't look at it. That's pretty much what we'll do from here on out. But we are pressing play right now. Oh yeah, and Nami's ass just taking our shit and dipping. Yeah, she was looking at the wanted poster. And we didn't see who was on it. She's not just gonna go start bounty hunting. Like, why did she dip? <laughs> what she do? Hop in a little dinghy with the fucking treasure and dip while they're turned around. Nami, what the hell? Ah, uh, they didn't show her eyes when she said that. I don't think this is true. Mm mm mm. What a botch. And then, yeah, that shit happened. And now we're caught up in the time. It's actually wild that she would dip like that. I mean, I guess maybe that is true to her personality. She said, you know, she takes from and hunts from pirates, so... I was about to say... Track her ass down. <laughs> he wants her. Wait, can we still address, like, what just happened, though? Mm 
Alpha Hawk is right there. Zoro wanted this. There he is. I mean, just out there on his little dinghy. <gasps> okay, good. Zoro, uh, Zoro hadn't dipped yet. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. What's the relationship between them, though? Does he seek him to learn what he does, or has they have they ran into each other before? And why is he so true to like finishing them off? Why has he been looking for him? Hawkeye. The world's strongest man. Everybody's the strongest man until we run into the next world's strongest man. The world's strongest swordsman or the world's strongest man? He's the master swordsman, the man who stands above all other swordsmen. Okay. So is Zoro seeking him out for his power? Like how? Or... What was your prompt? Oh, right. His promise was to become the greatest swordsman, so he has to kill him if he's going to be the greatest, you know? He's got his black lightsaber over there and shit. Wait, are they actually going to throw hands? Like, are they actually about to throw? I mean, we know Zoro's not going to win. It's not going to be that easy, but... He made a... It's dope that they also knew who Zoro was. To be the greatest swordsman. Look at his eyes. What the hell? He said he, yeah, he did say he was out there to kill some time, so he's got some time. That's dope they know Zoro's reputation, too. He's not just some kid running out there. I mean, I don't think it's going to be close, unfortunately. I think our man's going to get shit on, but maybe he could surprise us. Okay, inst fucking Dragon Ball Z sound effects. It's neat. It's a promise he made. Won't know how how close are we? Is he even remotely close? I don't think it's going to be close at all, sadly. Yeah. saying that's all he needs wow east blue is the weakest of the four seas yep that's what they say word on the street yeah this is about to be disrespectfully bad Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
the disrespect. That's what it like. That's the bad part. It's just the disrespect. Clearly, they'll throw hands again at some point, and I'll be here for it. Even though I wanted to see Hawkeye have to move, have to use that black blade. No, it is that far, man. You got a lot of work to do. But that's fine, though. We know. We know. We see how big the gap is. Now we go back to work. Mmm. I wanted to see a little more, but it also makes it better that, like, Zoro is this far apart. So now the question is, what does he do to close that gap? This isn't a, a this isn't a sword fighting like s sword training anime where like Luffy's a swordsman and everybody else is, and we're all working on our swordsmanship. So like, is he just gonna have the typical like training montage where he's just out there slicing um, on his own until he just magically starts getting better? Or like, how do we become better? Because general practice isn't just gonna do it. You got anything? Judo chopped his ass to sleep, too. Hey, another Zoro episode, though. I'm down. He's been my favorite character so far, so. I wish he could leave. Like, he could at least get one hit in just to let him know, like, hey, one day I'm coming. But. Or just show, can we get a little bit of praise or something? Just a little bit. Like, I don't think he can get to this level by him just getting another couple episodes of him swinging some bamboo sticks out there in the wild. Like, how is he? How do you become whatever this is? I don't know where you get a blade like that, though. He <laughs> yanked them back so quick. Dang, now I want him to have a, like a colored blade. The king of pirates would need no less. Shit. He's got like a big at like that's just a damn meat cleaver he's got on his back. Man, he's always getting stabbed up too. We just were healing from a wound.
Yeah, if he retreats, that means he... Yeah. Yeah. The world's strongest black sword. That was dope that Hawkeye had a little respect to, like, ask his name, draw the blade. I mean, we know how that goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. We knew how that went. Hey, doesn't mean we have to die. Oh, God. Fuck. God damn. I know he's not dead. Um, so that's why the only reason I'm not like, oh, we know he's not dead. Um, but damn. Now, if this was to happen 300-ish episodes from now, then maybe. I still want to know what Hawkeye is, how he got there, that sword, all that. Luffy's not about to go down there and throw hands, is he? Yo, Luffy, take it easy. You know, that salt water stinging the fuck out of that too. Of course it's Dracul. And then they're going there's gonna be a round two. Mmm, dope. Probably the best episode we've had. <laughs> It'll be even harder than surpassing me. Ugh. Wow. I hope he never gets defeated again because they have, like, Zoro's really gotten shitted on a couple of the fights that we've gone on.
Alright. Well, I guess he wants to die. Best episode so far. Hands down. That got emotional right there. Don literally just couldn't walk out of there with his life, huh? Like, he was literally just going to let you live, and you just had to do it. I hope it doesn't take too long for us to... circle back to the squad. Ooh. So did Hawkeye really just dip? Like he said he escaped. I'm like, why are we just going to let that man live? He could have just got either way. Um, I mean, there's not more that there, there's nothing more. I really need to say that was hands down the best episode that we've had um, so far. Of everything, you know, we've had some some cool little fight scenes, but like any, you know, anytime Luffy hops on the scene, he's gonna handle business. We haven't met anybody that's as strong as him or can deal with him up until now. I'm sure um, Hawkeye right there probably dots his ass up. I'm sure he probably figures a way to get around on if he needed to. Maybe the older man, but the older uh, Redfoot, but those aren't fights that we're gonna get. Um, but it was just great. The emotion that we already had from Zoro's backstory. We knew he wanted to become the world's greatest swordsman. Um, I'm curious of just more about Hawkeye, the man, the reputation. Like, as great as Zoro is, and you see people know Zoro, at least in East Blue, of his reputation, the pirate hunter, all those type of things. Hawkeye as well, though. Like, he has the reputation. of, But, like, what has he done t that people unanim unanimously are like, yes, he is the greatest swordsman what tales are going around around him that's made him achieve that status. Um, but between that, a little bit of more Zoro's backstory, Hawkeye um, leaving him alive, having the honor to draw his sword, saying, I'm going to hold on to this strongest swordsman seat until you can come take it. Um, Zoro saying, I'm never going to lose a fight again. You said you needed nothing less than the world's greatest swordman, right? And then referred to him as King of the Pirate. Like, the whole thing was just great. Best episode we've had up until this point. Um, we'll see from there. Like, I've been saying for a while, Zoro has been my favorite character. Now, what sucks about it is, like, they have been letting him get shit on a little bit, though. Like, there's been this mystique built up about him. Like, he's this great pirate hunter. Um, but then we see him get, like, pushed around over here. Then he gets pushed around over here. Or then he gets pushed around over here. Um, so he says he's never going to be defeated again. I would like to see if they, like, stick with that. Like, everybody he comes across. Like, yes, he can struggle and look like he might lose, get stabbed, you know, things like that. Um, but doesn't mean he still can't win those fights. So, we'll see. I mean, I have best episode we've had so far. Give it a nice little clap there. Um, we'll go from there. We'll see what it has to offer. This should go up, this will go up either um, on the 18th or the 19th for Patreon. Um, and then same thing again, we'll have at least two episodes more um, this week, if not three. And uh, go from there. I appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always.